Hi, this is Kevin Henry. Welcome to this short presentation on the top five reasons, at least in my opinion, to learn cybersecurity. I've been working in the computer industry since 1975 on old DEC PDP-11s, programming in BASIC and BASIC Plus, moving on to being a technician, operator, programmer. Well, then I worked for a while in systems audit and finally in security. Today, I spend most of my time as an instructor around the world in the area of cybersecurity and consulting based on my years of experience in this field. When we take a look at the area of computers, much has changed over the years and has changed quickly. Moving from the old style of centralized systems to the power we have in our phones, for example, and other types of technology. In this, it has been a very interesting field and one that many people have asked me, have you lived your dreams? And I would have to say working in the field of computers and specifically cybersecurity, I could never have dreamt of the many things I've been able to do. It's provided me a lot of different opportunities to travel the world and actually work with people from many different places and cultures. One of the things I appreciate the most in the cybersecurity area is the ability we have to make a difference. Every day what we do can actually make a difference to many other people. We also can make a good income and that's a good reason as well. So if you look at my top five reasons, my first reason to have a career, for example, and learn about cybersecurity would have to start with the fact that this is a fast moving. It's a very interesting and challenging world. There's always new things to learn. It's not just stagnant and boring and repetitive. In fact, we can say it's not the right career for everyone because for some people, they would rather something which is more stable and defined. Whereas this is something that is always evolving and changing. We can say here that there's a lot of different areas of specialty in this field as well. You could emphasize that technology is what you really like, or maybe you prefer to work with people with awareness programs, investigations, or perhaps you like processes and being a project manager and trying to ensure that we are able to handle the many chaotic situations that we face every day in an information technology and security field. This evolution is important and it's the reason I list it as number two. All of the changes we've had have meant we're always able to keep learning. We have to learn about the business and how to be able to use technology to support business needs and business is changing rapidly but so also are many of the technologies. A lot of technologies we use today weren't even around 10 years ago. We also have a continuously evolving world of threats. There's a lot of different things that can go wrong and they can be from anywhere in the world, whether it's hackers or natural events, whether it, for example, is just equipment that's getting old. A lot of these are the things that we always have to be watching for and we have to be creative in how we do things like risk management. The other thing is that there's many good career options here. We don't have to just be one thing. Instead, we can move on and try different types of languages, technologies, and different types of situations because cybersecurity applies to government, military, law enforcement, commercial enterprises, not-for-profit, and even for the type of small mom-and-pop operation. My third reason is that we can make a difference. Every day in the cybersecurity field, you can make life a little bit better for somebody. Whether or not it's the company you work for to help them be able to leverage the advantages of technology in a secure way, whether or not it's protecting people that are on the internet. The idea here is that we change lives by what we do in the cybersecurity field, 
both of individuals and of course for our family and organizations and even for many people for the countries they live in where they are on the front edge of protecting their nation from some types of threats. Reason number four is an important one. It's always good to make a good income. It's always good to be able to do the things you want to do. And we've seen that the pay and salary for most people working in cybersecurity globally has been over 120,000 US dollars per year based on a number of studies that have been done where we try to go and look and see what should a cybersecurity professional be paid today. Reason number five is demand. It's not good to work in an industry where in a couple of years nobody's going to need you anymore. Cybersecurity, we know that the demand for cybersecurity professionals far exceeds the actual supply of personnel that are available. And that demand is expected to continue to increase for many years. We also have the problem that many people like me are reaching retirement age. We've had a lot of fun. It's been nice to get where we are, but it's also time that we can sit back and we need young people to move in. We need people that have worked in other areas of the business to come in and fill that gap and be ready to carry things forward into the next generation as well. So what's required? Well, first of all, you should never do a job you don't like. You should have a passion so that, hey, this is something you're truly interested in and, hey, you would like to do. As it's often been said, do a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. It's also good to pursue some type of certification. Education is important that we keep growing and keep learning, never stagnate. But sometimes you need to be recognized for the fact you have a thorough foundation in the field of cybersecurity, not just partial knowledge in some areas, but that you have really a familiarity with all of the aspects of it. And this is where some of the certifications from ISACA, CompTIA, ISC Squared can be very helpful for you in being able to have more career opportunities and have that recognition for the fact you have a proven and validated level of knowledge. In all of this, never stop being hungry. Never stop wanting to learn and to improve. Ask questions, contemplate, what the various things could be. What are the threats, the risks, the vulnerabilities, asset value, the changes in business. Be creative and of course, have fun. Enjoy your journey as you learn about cybersecurity. I hope you'll join me.